What's up fathers? It's your brother CJ. Welcome to the Divorce and Custody channel for men. Today we want to talk about three signs that your marriage is over. And I know that this is an important topic because what happens is for men, we are mostly blindsided and we never know that our marriage is headed for divorce until the wife shows up one Sunday evening after you put the kids to dinner and says, we got to talk. Now she says she wants a divorce and you have no idea why. So let's talk about how to recognize the signs that the marriage is over. So number one, when you see that your spouse carries a condescending behavior, in other words, she just looks down upon you for no reason at all. And she's just rude and she talks back even when it's not necessary. And she puts you down for many things. When you start to see that happen, what that means is that that person is now thinking of another person outside of your relationship. In other words, you were her security. You have done what you needed to do as far as to get her back to a place where she feels confident and comfortable again to be able to walk all over you. And now she's ready to call it quits. But what she's looking for is to put you down first so that you feel that you were deserving of it when she finally delivers the blow. Number two, you're going to start to see a lot of secrecy. You're going to start to see her not honor up to things that she said she would do anymore. You're going to see her hiding her phone a lot. She's not going to leave it in the open anymore. She's going to be, and if you look at her emails or her texts, she's going to be reaching out to a lot of guys, a lot of people from the past. She's going to be uh, reminiscing to people, the ones that got away. And what's going to happen is, is when you come up upon that information, she's not going to care. She's going to be able to tell you right away she was just talking to a friend and you're just insecure. When you start to see that pattern happen, your marriage is all but over. Number three, disrespect. When you start to seeing your woman be openly disrespectful to you, I've said this many times on this channel, disrespect is a sign that the love is gone. You see, as much as a man loves sex, a man would rather not have sex with a woman who is disrespectful to him. Because what happens is immediately after the sex, she becomes disrespectful, and sometimes a man is not even attracted enough to sleep with that person anymore. And so when you start to see a lot of disrespect in your relationship, yeah, I'm sure there's going to be reasons why that disrespect is coming. But when you love someone, when that person loves you, they're going to go out their way to be respectful. And when you start seeing them being disrespectful, just know that it is all but over. So when you see these signs, what do you do? Well, here's what you do. Number one, some guys will go for counseling. If you're going to do that, then make sure that your counselor is a male counselor, not a female counselor, because she's just going to agree with her and she's going to tell you that this is just a you know, temporary thing and it's going to end. And what it's going to do is it's going to prolong the situation and allow her to have the ammunition that's going to hurt you when she finally files for divorce. Instead, what you should do is if the counseling don't work, consult with a family attorney, preferably a men's rights attorney, and get started on your divorce right now all right fellas i hope that this helps uh let me know if you agree disagree in the comments also remember to hit like and subscribe and share this video if this helped you in any way uh also remember i have the book the ebook the 10 things that your lawyer won't tell you about divorce and custody you can find that at this link right here and also uh if you want some personal help with your particular divorce and custody case then email me right here at this link as well in the meantime and in between time it's cya cover your assets <laughs>